A blood test can tell you a lot about your body. And now doctors here in BC say a single drop of blood can tell them whether someone has cancer and the best way to fight it. It was three years ago when Sonia Simic was given devastating news. I was not quite ready for cancer to be on my radar or something I had to deal with at that, uh, at that point. Simic was diagnosed with late-stage breast cancer. It meant months of grueling chemotherapy and months of not knowing whether it was working. If you do your CT scan or an MRI, you know, those are costly and there's usually a wait, waiting list to get to them. So you only do them every six months or so on. So you really don't know in that period, like, if you're responding to treatment or not. But a new technology could change that. BC cancer researchers say blood contains tiny fragments called ctDNA. A simple blood test could give doctors the answers they need. This has the potential to tell us if somebody needs treatment or doesn't need treatment. The BC-based Conconi Family Foundation just donated $1.2 million to the BC Cancer Foundation for ctDNA research. What we hope the funding will do is kind of um, build evidence to show that we actually can use this information to alter the course of treatment and to screen for uh, cancers early on and also to kind of track progress of a treatment. Researchers will now begin a two-year study with breast cancer patients and believe ctDNA will eventually be used for other forms, including lung, colon, and pancreatic cancer. Unfortunately, the most common question I get asked is, am I cured of my breast cancer? Do I still have cancer? And the answer is, I don't actually know with the current technologies we have today. This has the potential to be the most sensitive test. Seamich now has a clean bill of health, but she says ctDNA would have helped smooth her road to recovery in a few ways. Peace of mind would have been one thing, um, sort of knowing how my treatment was progressing and, you know, potentially knowing if there's other treatments available off-shelf that are maybe not as brutal as my chemo was. In Vancouver, Travis Prasad, City News.